Amid the dances of uncertainty that the universe presents us, a state of serenity emerges not as a triviality, but as the very essence of the enlightened being. Let us reflect on the ancestral wisdom of the Stoics, those masters of inner quietude. I share with you the sacred path of duty, aligned with the cosmic order, without falling into the traps of worldly pleasures that distract so many others from their divine purpose, including your own offspring. Consider that the fertile soil of suffering is often watered by the murky waters of fear. This ancestral feeling is the prelude to hatred, violence, and darkness that can oppress the soul. But as this energy spreads through our great collective fabric, causing torment like a dark virus, so too does our collective suffering increase. The redeeming power of Stoicism, then, is not found in altering our external fates but in forging our inner spirit, preparing us to face whatever fate reveals to us. In Stoicism lies the key to resilience, not just to maintain serenity amid chaos, but to flourish and radiate light in the darkest moments. First, allow me to reveal that it is not the manifestations of the external world that disturb our peace, but rather the interpretation our minds make of these phenomena. Yes, my friends, both the ancient masters of Stoicism and the venerable masters of Buddhism understand that it is the mind that precedes all things. The external world is merely a mirror reflecting our internal thoughts. It is the beliefs rooted in the secret garden of the subconscious mind that color the events of life. Consider, for example, that it is an illusion to believe we are exempt from the challenges of existence, such as illness or material difficulties. This is a refusal to accept the eternal truth of change. The events we consider adverse are, in fact, universal and inevitable. We possess the gift of choice. We cannot command the flow of life, the march of time, the arising and disappearing of diseases, or the whispers and roars of wars. Yet, we are given the sovereign realm of our own consciousness. We can cultivate opinions, form judgments, and perform actions. We can choose to abandon the notion that only good should adorn our path and embrace the possibility that even the greatest storms may cross our skies. Not as an omen of despair but as a summons to embrace the truth of the universe and stop fighting against the sacred current of life. Here lies true peace, it is in the acceptance and understanding that it is not the events themselves, but their echo within us, that defines our emotional journey. Furthermore, Allow me to remind you that what we experience as new under the sun is often as old as the stars. Like the creatures that walk and fly and swim on our beautiful planet, our perspectives are often limited by the brevity of our physical existence. If we are like the ephemeral, living only for the sun of one day, many mysteries of the universe will remain hidden from us. However, history is the great teacher that shows us that wars, pandemics, and crises have been overcome countless times before. The universe flows in cycles, and humanity, in its unbreakable tenacity, always finds the way to renewal. History, this vast tapestry of time, offers us a map of the human cosmos, an understanding of the currents that have shaped humanity's journey. It teaches us not only about the resilience and strength that reside within each of us but also about courage. More fundamentally, it reveals to us the transience of all events, a reminder that the now is simply a point in the infinite continuum of time. 
Let us then advance to the contemplation of the self. Here is a powerful key, self-examination is a sacred act, a portal to true wisdom. In the quietude of self-contemplation, we rise above the turbulent waves of distraction and enter the serenity of the inner lake. See how self-contemplation can be used to realign our soul with virtue and duty. By questioning our actions and motivations, we can free ourselves from the chains of hasty judgments and uncontrolled emotions. Self-contemplation is an act of purification and liberation. It invites us to look deeply into our hearts and recognize that, while we are not the incarnation of perfection, each moment offers the opportunity to come closer to it. Through this inner mirror, we can see our flaws, not as marks of shame but as silent teachers calling us to transformation. Through this sacred practice, we learn to anchor ourselves in the present moment, to welcome gratitude for the blessings we have, and to live without the fear of the shadows of the future. It teaches us to focus on what is within our divine power of creation, our actions, our words, our thoughts, and feelings. By doing so, we transcend the illusion of external control and embrace the true power that resides within each of us. Virtue is the only true good. Virtue is the expression of our highest nature, the manifestation of moral standards that resonate with the divine order of the universe. Our world may change with the wind, our fortunes may rise and fall like the waves of the sea, but virtue is the eternal beacon that lights the path through the shadows of uncertainty. If we live with courage, justice, temperance, and wisdom, we can find harmony and peace, regardless of the storms that may surround us. These qualities are the true treasure, immune to the vicissitudes of earthly existence, and are sources of great strength and stability. As we navigate the vast and often untamable ocean of life, with its unexpected currents and sudden storms, Stoicism offers a star compass by which we can orient ourselves. We do not have the power to command the wind, but we can adjust our sails to capture its essence and use it to our advantage. With a serene mind and a heart aligned with virtue, we can find the safe harbor of peace and the strength to not just survive, but to flourish in the fullness of our human experience. In our quest for true serenity, we must become familiar with the concept of logos, that divine spark that permeates all things. In Stoicism, logos is the universal reason, the sacred fire that orders the cosmos and resides within each of us. By aligning our actions with logos, we achieve harmony with nature and find our true purpose. Let us not be like leaves in the wind, scattered without direction, but like the sturdy tree, whose deep roots embrace the earth and whose branches touch the sky. In the fabric of our existences, we must weave the practice of ataraxia, the tranquility of mind. Ataraxia is achieved not by the absence of problems but by the inner serenity that comes with understanding and accepting that the external is impermanent and often out of our control. It is the peace found in the eye of the hurricane, the calm center where we dwell in balance. Let us contemplate the nature of impermanence. Everything around us is transitory. The seasons change, civilizations rise and fall, and even the most majestic oceans and mountains are sculpted by time. This understanding may initially bring a sense of sadness, but within it lies incredible freedom. When we accept that everything changes, 
We free ourselves from excessive attachment and find joy in the ephemeral nature of life. A true sage not only recognizes impermanence but also practices voluntary simplicity. This is a conscious choice to live in a less complicated and more meaningful way, focusing on what is essential in our lives. We slow down, simplify our desires, and create space for reflection and spiritual growth. Voluntary simplicity is the practice of detachment that allows us to flow with life, rather than fight against it. Let us be inspired by the reflections that teach us, it is not things that disturb us, but our opinions about them. We must exercise discipline over our perceptions, questioning and dissolving those that hold us in suffering and illusion. This is the path of the light warrior, who, armed with discernment and compassion, transforms challenges into bridges to wisdom. Finally, my enlightened friends, let us not forget the power of gratitude. In our daily journey, we can be thankful not only for the obvious blessings but also for the lessons disguised as difficulties. Gratitude is like a prayer that opens our heart to the fullness of the present moment and dissolves the heavy armor of resentment. Thus, with our feet firmly planted on the earth and our gazes lifted to the stars, we continue our eternal dance with destiny. Each step is an expression of our deepest intention, each breath an affirmation of our unbreakable connection with the whole. May this serenity be a flame that burns without ceasing in the temple of your being, illuminating your journey and guiding you to eternal tranquility. May we all live as conscious droplets in the vast ocean of existence, knowing that, while we are many, we are also one. Deep peace and lasting joy to all of you, my dear seekers of truth. <laughs>